We are in slightly sunny Barcelona uh, for the For Love's Sake Wedding Film Conference. In this episode, we're going to be showing you a, a full breakdown on what we do on a wedding, the setup for the complete day. This was April. But let me say one thing. This is Kayleen David. Now, we filmed their wedding the day we got back from Barcelona. Um, and when we turned up at the bridal preps, I knew we were going to recognise a few faces, but it hadn't occurred to me that we actually do have a bit of a history with this group. Um, so I'm just going to share with you quickly the story on how we got to film Kelly and David's wedding. There is one common denominator with all these weddings, and that's Carly and Phil, but we'll get to them in a second. So this is Amy. Amy suggested us, back in 2016, to Adam and Sarah. And at Adam and Sarah's wedding, uh, Carly and Phil were there. Carly was bridesmaid. And here we can also see Kaylee, whose wedding we're actually talking about today. So around about nine months later, Carly and Phil hired us to film their wedding. And there we had Amy, Sarah was a bridesmaid, Kaylee was a chief bridesmaid. And we can see David here. And that guy you just saw splitting his pants. Another nine months later, we filmed his wedding. So that was Ian and Sam. And at that wedding again, we have Carly and Phil. And then 11 months later, we filmed Gary and Naomi's. Now, Gary, if we actually rewind, was at Sarah and Adam's. And also at Gary and Naomi's, again, we had Carly and Phil and Sarah and Adam. And then a month after that, we had the wedding of Lewis and Chloe. And Carly is actually the cousin of Chloe, so obviously Carly and Phil were there. Oh, and I forgot to say, over these couple of years, obviously babies came. And then that led up to Kaylee and David. So that was seven weddings with the same group, Carly and Phil being at all seven. So when I asked Kaylee if she was doing a bouquet toss, she actually mentioned that there's probably no single ladies uh, at this wedding. So our time with this group is probably coming to a close, unless we count this lot. So today we are at uh, Kat and Chris's wedding at the Great Hall of Mains. Now we're going to try to explain our full setup for a uh, wedding. So we've just been in the bridal preps, the girls are pretty excited and hyped. Um, we'll show you our setup because every setup is different depending on the, uh, you know, whether it's a church or the sort of the lighting, window lighting. I think this, this one's lit by one side, so it's a bit, of a bit tough because it's quite dark in there. Lisa's going to be at the back getting the sort of shot when Kat's walking up, and I'm going to be sort of this area with two cameras. Uh, the bride and groom are going to be pretty much here. It's a nice looking room. So it's quarter past 11. The groom's going to arrive in about half an hour through those gates. So I'm going to try and get a gimbal shot of him walking all the way up here, um, up to the house. Lisa's inside shooting the bride. She's getting to her dress in about five minutes as well. Uh, so once she's done, she'll be in the car just do a short drive around. The, the ceremony's just finished. <laughs> I'm absolutely boiling. <laughs> it's roasted here. Um, ceremony's just finished. Just done the... Um, confetti line and now because we've got a bit of a long drink reception in the sun so I'm going to um, get the drone out take that up for a bit just get some aerial shots just locked in there and then I don't have to worry about that and Lisa's just going around uh, getting headshots in the crowd at the moment all everyone greeting each other okay so um, we're just about to take them out just for a quick walk uh, get a couple of couple shots um, we don't like taking them out long just literally five minutes uh, Lisa and myself will be either side just getting as many shots as we can because we don't want to keep them from the guests. Right, they've just gone in for the meal, so we got the walking in shot. We're going to take a break. Um, probably around about dessert time is when we start to look to uh, mic them up for the speeches. There's three speeches uh, after the meal, as I said. Um, so we'll get that out of the way so we've got plenty of time to get in position because Lisa's usually uh, getting the crowd shots while I'm concentrating on whoever's speaking. It's 10 past six, we've just finished with the speeches, so the weather's still absolutely amazing. So I the think they're gonna be doing some group shots outside now, so we're gonna get a little bit of that. Um, and then we're gonna do a bouquet toss. Uh, the girls have had quite a uh, bit to drink, so that should be good fun. And then get set up for the night, dude. 
So we're just setting up for the first dance, got some lights from the car. We're gonna set them up either side of the dance floor. So I'm just gonna get one over here. We'll get a stand on one here just so we can properly light it up. And then once that's done, obviously just get loads of action on the dance floor and that's it. It's Easter Sunday, uh, usually on a beautiful day like this I'd like to be on the decking having a drink but I'm spending the day with a very hairy gentleman wedding singer, entertainer and host Danny the Shark Finn so we followed him all, all day um, he started off at the drinks reception uh, with an acoustic guitarist so it was beautiful in the sun kind of uh, entertaining the crowd, was very chilled out and then he's hosting during the wedding breakfast um, which is just on now, they're just on the speeches and then we're going to be doing a, a DJ and sax sort of shoot and then uh, he's bringing his band along the Soul Convicts to finish the night off Our last wedding for April and we took a very long drive up to Northumberland uh, we stayed over the night before uh, for James and Joanna's wedding at Doxford Barnes now similar to the story I told previously uh, we ended up at their wedding because they were guests at Kimberley and Mike's two years ago you can see them in the crowd there and also Mike's brother uh, David who's the best man here and his fiancee Katie uh, also hired us to film their wedding which is in six weeks time at Bashel Barn and just on a side note Kimberly actually told us that Mike didn't want a videographer at first but once he'd seen the film he said it was the best money he'd spent Okay, so we started this video in Spain. We're going to end it in Spain because we're just about to set off to the airport for a very short break in the sun, hopefully. Um, we'll see you next month.